Thank you, everybody. Um, it is true. I am from Missouri. Uh, as far as you know, no, I am. Uh, five generations, both sides of my family. Uh, one half were educators, and the other half were lead miners and farmers. Um, so that's all true. And I've actually met a few Missouri people in this audience tonight, so it's not just me. I'm so glad uh, for all of you to be here tonight. This is one of my favorite um, days of the year. I was telling uh, the students as I was going around class, the, the tables, classroom, right? Big classroom. Um, the tables that uh, I expected that when I was shaking their hands tonight, the next time I'll shake their hands will be at graduation. Maybe not this year, it might be the next year, depending on where they were in their education, but I would be seeing them again soon. And they all have assured me that that is going to happen. So I just want to say thank you to Josh. I also want to say special thanks to all of those who are here that serve and work on the foundation. There are many foundation members here this evening. And where is George? Okay. I want to say a special thanks to George Frazier, who is our executive director of the foundation and development here at the college. This is a tremendous evening. There aren't many opportunities when we have a chance to take a pause and reflect and appreciate all which is good and meaningful. And this is one of those evenings. And with us this evening, to celebrate all of these students' lives, are some important people that I want to call out a little bit, just for a moment here. We are all partners in the success of this college, and we all play a role, and together we succeed. So bear with me here. I would like to acknowledge in our audience tonight the mayor of Auburn, Nancy Backus. We have several Board of Trustees members present this evening. We have Trustee Jackie Boschek, <laughs> Trustee Sharon Navas, and Trustee Linda Cowan. We also have Bill Peloza, Council Member, City of Auburn. And I know John Holloman is out there also, uh, City Council of Auburn. We also have Jim Berrios, who's a council person in Kent City. Where is Jim? And I've saved two additional gentlemen to introduce. I don't know, I'll, I'll do it by seniority. Also with us this evening is former president of Green River College, Rich Rutkowski. And last but not least, we have the former interim college president, Scott Morgan. I want to thank both you gentlemen for providing me the opportunity to lead a tremendous institution. I feel very fortunate. This evening's scholarship banquet gives us all the opportunity to remember why we do what we do and how significant a role that we play in many people's lives. The students that are with us this evening are full of tremendous hope and future opportunity. And the scholarships that the college generates, the foundation generates, and even more so the donors in this room provide, represents the hopes and dreams of thousands of students. I wish to thank all the students here this evening for entrusting Green River College for your education. If it weren't for you, our lives would lack a considerable amount of meaning and value. We are here for you. I also want to extend my special appreciation to the donors tonight. With your generosity, the foundation has been able to serve in the past five years over 1,300 students. 
and it represents $1.95 million of funds. <laughs> Tremendous. Nearly 30% of our students are first to college in their families. And what that also probably means is that many of them are actually first to complete high school. And these students in this room tonight represent an average grade point number of 3.4. That's a solid B average if you're not sure, okay, in terms of how those numbers work. That's a B, B plus average. And they're doing it, and as I met the students as I was around the room tonight, and those of you who are having the great pleasure of sitting with students at the tables, they're doing it while juggling jobs, families, their parents, they have relationships, and other financial responsibilities. For the students here, you represent all which is best and right about our community and Green River College. So let us take the time to pause this evening and reflect on how significant Green River College and the College Foundation is to our community and let's rejoice in our students' lives. Thank you. <laughs>